Oh my god, there he is. <clears throat> Oh, there's something good. Let me stand up so you guys can kind of see. Look at them all. Ready, watch this. Oh, there he is. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's thousands. Whew. Look at this, he's pulling me against the current. Not really uh, the way I hoped to start off the morning. And I stepped in dog as soon as I got to the first spot here. But welcome back to another episode. We are gonna get out in the kayak at like first light and try and hit the seven mile bridge down here in the Florida Keys. And if you're a first time viewer, uh, my name is Rich. So thank you so much for tuning in. And for all of you watching at home, please pick up after your, your dogs down here or just anywhere because you really can ruin someone's day. Uh, well, I'm lucky I have this little portable hose on me so I can clean my shoe here, but it'd be a real pain to clean this off if I, if I didn't have this. And it would probably make the inside of my car smell like poop for the rest of the trip. We're in the water as you can see. Let's start this journey off and I'm hoping that we'll be able to encounter some snapper today. And last night I actually was able to just scoop up uh, a bunch of shrimp like in ankle deep water. So we have like three dozen shrimp in our bait bucket back there. And then also I'm hoping to catch some permit. So yesterday evening I uh, purchased uh, 10 of uh, the little live uh, peeler crabs so hopefully uh, we can get some fish to eat those. Uh, mutton snapper might eat those as well, or tarpon. And if we're lucky, maybe some grouper will be biting. I also uh, made up a big trolling tube. And when I typically fish the seven mile, we cover some miles. So I might throw the tube out just to, to head out like, the, like quickly, the first like two, three miles. And ideally, I want to spend most of the day out like four miles so like kind of like halfway all the way out there so let's get to it and also before i forget huge shout out to buffalo gear coolers for sponsoring this video and they're going to help me uh, hopefully bring home some tasty fish for some tasty fresh fish and uh, more on them in a little bit once we uh, get on some action so stay tuned let's go catch them Kind of crazy. Uh, I just saw some fish. Look at that right there. Busting up right along the bridge. Oh my God, what are they? I think it might be a, a bunch of big jacks. Oh my God, there he is. Oh my God, look at that. First cast and I'm on. Oh my God. Insane right now. What is going on? I kept my drag real loose so this fish would run away from the structure. And it's a big fish. Look, I just started. I'm working my way down the bridge. Woo! Today's gonna be a good day. Woo!
and I, I threw this uh, long seven inch Z-Man uh, jerk shad at him because this is what I was fishing with last night and other than the live shrimp I did catch two tarpon Jeez, this is a big fish He's trying to go back to that bridge as you can see Ah, oh, man. I gotta just follow him. Oh, look at that, I got someone else's line. Luckily it came off. Jeez. This is a smart fish. And I'm fighting them with the seven foot dark matter fishaholic heavy action stick paired with the Daiwa 6000 BGMQ. Got him. Phew. Oh. <laughs> Check out that nice jack. What a way to start the day right there. All right, awesome fish. Let's give her a quick little drag to revive her a little bit. It's a little shallower water over in that direction, so I'm gonna kinda head over there because closer to the bridge, it can get a little sketchy. You know, there's probably some bull sharks lurking around. Whew. Well, that was a good little pre-workout before the workout, and I guess now's a good time to Give you guys a closer look at my 25 inch buffalo gear kayak cooler here and it's really convenient with the two zippers here on top to open it just like that to throw our catch in here for the day i also have some water in here because i'm running low on space in my my lunch cooler and, you know so safe as the fish throw them in there zip it shut and that's going to keep our catch uh nice and fresh for the day and then when we get off the water later, there's also these two other zippers here that go all the way around so we can easily get the catch out. We've got a nice carry handle right here up front. And then if we turn it around, we have another in the back and a very convenient drain. And then also to make things even easier for carrying this back to the truck, or from the boat to your house. This uh, can also be like a backpack or you could put it on just your shoulder with uh, one strap. So it's a really well insulated bag and if you wanna check it out, I'll put a link down in the description. And for the last like month, I've actually been fishing with it and uh, I've been loving to use it for Pompano and we're gonna put it to the test today for with uh, some snapper and maybe some snook because the season's open for them if we can find a couple and uh, or triple tail. Uh, I was hoping hogfish would have been open, but it's closed right now, and black grouper's closed, gag grouper's closed. So we're really kind of just stuck on snapper, snook, and like triple tail that I think that we could encounter here. And oh, and also maybe some yellow jacks 
or bar jacks we could throw in there. Uh, and if we're really desperate, maybe <laughs> some grunts, but hopefully not. So again, check that link in the description and by helping to support Buffalo Gear, you in turn help support this channel. Uh, now, before I forget, we gotta actually go back to the truck because since I, I caught that first fish on the Z-Man, I, I completely forgot that I forgot a bunch of other soft plastics in the truck. So, uh, hey, what's happening? <laughs> so I'm gonna go get that and then we're gonna keep on uh, going down. All right, I'm just gonna tie this up actually, but I'm gonna have it at the ready just in case we see some more jacks busting on the pilings. And that was so cool to see. And I'm sure we'll see something similar to that again, especially if there's large number of a large number of jacks around. Here is my homemade tube. I think we're gonna try throwing this out now. And this is what I was gonna start with if we didn't see those jacks blowing up. So check out the action. You bend the tube in a special way so it swims like that and it kind of looks like an eel or a needlefish. Now I'm just gonna let it out probably like 50 yards and uh, we'll troll for like a mile or so. Oh, 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 getting bites, getting bites. First bite on the troll. It did not feel too big, but it probably was a small cuda. Oh, there's a bite. That felt pretty good. Oh, oh, getting some more hits. There he is. Fish on. Oh. Something decent on the tube. We're about a mile and a half out now. So, pretty cool to cover some distance and at least get a decent fish on. Oh, look at that smaller jack on the tube pretty cool and I don't know why he's bleeding I got him right in the corner of the mouth sweet that looks good There's something good. Fish on. As I was trolling away from the bridge. What could this be? Maybe another jack or it could be a cuda. It's not really giving me any crazy drag screaming runs like a cuda would. Could it be like a grouper maybe? Huh. He's 
right here. No way, guys. Look at this. A black grouper on the tube. <laughs> that is easily a PB black grouper. I can't believe that just happened. The tube must have been tracking really close to the pilings as I was going along because the current's going from right to left here. So the tube was probably swinging and getting close to that structure and this guy just came up and nailed it so cool let's uh, measure this one just to see if he is a, a keeper although we can't keep him of course but i would love to throw this guy into the buffalo gear cooler Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, let's try this swim bay here. All right, let's see what'll hit this. If I fish it a little slower, we'll get a grouper. If I fish it fast, we'll probably get some sort of jack species. And I kind of want to fish fast because I, I, I want to get out there like really quick to try and uh, you know spend some more time going for permit. I've never caught a permit in the Florida Keys, unfortunately. Oh. There's something. Uh, what is it? Oh, no way. I snagged this uh, schoolmaster snapper. Schoolmasters only have to be 10 inches to keep, so if he's 10 inches, we'll probably keep him. Oh, he's a little shy. That's okay, though, because we'll get some better ones with probably the live shrimp that I have. That has to catch a nice schoolmaster. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, man. I lost them. Let's try again. All right, this shrimp should not last long. Oh, I just got eight. Oh, I had him for a second. He came off. All right, I'm going to try just a tail chunk of the fresh shrimp because schoolmasters are smart and they know how to just take the bait off the hook. Oh, there he is. Got him. Nice. That's got to be a keeper. Oh yeah, we're bringing home Snapper tonight. In the box. Let's try another little tail chunk. Oh, getting eight. There he is. Dang it. Oh, he was in the bottom, but I got him out. Nice. 
That's even a little better. Nice slushy in there. Let's go with the tail chunk again. Oh, oh, I just got eight. This is super fun stuff. If you ever come to the Keys and you can get out in a kayak or a boat, and especially if you're with kids, definitely try targeting Snappa. This one's gonna be close. But what's cool about these Schoolmaster Snapper, although they're not long, they are, you know, relatively wide and you know, kind of thick. So you do get two nice fillets off of these fish. And this one is... Ah, he might just be shy of 10 inches. Yeah, he's a little shy. There's another. Got this one as I was getting pushed away with the current. That might keep right there. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. All right guys, we're gonna put the snapper rod down because right here there's a massive school of jacks. I believe they're jacks. Let me stand up so you guys can kind of see. Look at them all. Ready, watch this. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys could see that. They were just tracking this. They, they kind of gave up, but. Oh, there he is. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's thousands of big jacks right here right now. Whew. Look at this, he's pulling me against the current out that way, away from the bridge, which is good. Dang, son. This one ate that swim bait that I threw on a little while ago. Whew. Let's sit down before I fall down. Oh my God. He is booking it down current now. I was just about to take a break too from the snapper fishing to eat some lunch and then uh, start permit fishing, but <laughs> this was just too easy. This must be like a spawning school of these big jacks. Oh, oh man. Oh. Come on up. There we go. manhandled this one to get him in the kayak quick that is a stud definitely a solid like low 20 pound jack see you later 
All right, well, I think we earned ourselves a good lunch right now. So let's take a little break and eat my salami and cheese wrap. I also have some mango in here. Look at that, fresh mango. We'll have some Arizona iced tea. This camera doesn't want to stay where I want it to stay. There's my wrap. Hopefully it's not wet. Oh, that's so good. And, we, and so far the day has been phenomenal. I've caught a lot of fish, caught some to take home, but it's just really that permit that I am I'm serious about and I cannot forget about the last time I was here and losing what I believe was a permit and then the next day I saw one in the same exact spot but I just couldn't put the crab in front of them. I had a crab out there and, and it was on the bottom and then uh, the, the permit came up right behind the boat like on the surface. So it's funny how that well, you know happens like that but it's, that's fishing. All right, time for the first crab. This is it. The next two or three hours are either gonna be really boring or really interesting. <clears throat> so mutton snapper also eat crabs like this, so we might have a shot at catching a nice mutton fishing like this as well. <clears throat> so I'll take a permit or a keeper mutton. That you know, that would really make my day. I might have just gotten eaten by something here. Nope, false alarm. Alright, I'm gonna take a little break from the permit action or the no action I should say and I'm gonna try to see if I can get some more snapper for the cooler or maybe even some small grunts for like a grouper bait There he is, fish on. Oh, another nice schoolmaster snapper. This one might be a keeper too. Oh yeah, 11 inches. There we go. Fresh crab going out. Oh, this is brutal out here. It is so hot and the bite for permit is just like non-existent. Oh, 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 I got eight, I got eight. Something got the crab. There we go. Fish on, finally. I don't know if this is gonna be a permit though. It could be. Oh, there's a big school of whatever it is. Oh, it's a juvenile Jack Creval. Well, still fun. At least we got something to eat the crab. Oh. 
Nice. Not bad. Look at that. Perfect hook set. See ya. Whew. Let's take one cast with the swim bait. I bet you we'll get a fish real quick. There he is. <laughs> Instantaneous. There's just so many, Jack. Whoa. These smaller sized fish are pulling hard for their size. Oh, man. Well, I'm giving up. It is 5.08 p.m. and we fished most of the way back with the crabs, uh, you know, wishing and fishing for that permit, but it just didn't happen. I didn't even see a single permit. So after that, I did throw the, around the swim bait for a little bit more and I did have one more bite but it got off, <laughs> so uh, I'm shot. We're gonna just beeline it uh, the last like quarter mile back to the launch, and I'm gonna fillet up the fish, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm too tired to do a catch and cook at the end of this video. So uh, what I really need to do is just load everything up, maybe take a quick shower to cool off, and then uh, go grab something good to eat. And if there still is some daylight left, I might go hit a small residential canal and do some like bank fishing for some tarpon. But if not, then I'm gonna sign out here. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, I had an amazing time out here. It was really fun filming this uh, episode for y'all. So hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.